rap rap this is a misprint i i, I get it but this is a misprint you know it's supposed to say rap rap uh, As we've gotten older, one of the things that have really that really needs to happen is you you know you tend to exercise, you tend to work out, do a little marathon here and there. But what that inevitably comes with is pain, pain in your arms, pain in your chest, legs, everywhere essentially. You know, particularly if you really went hard and went in, then you tend to get some you know feelings of discomfort. Now, how I'd usually get to that is this. I know it says deep heat here, but it's actually, you know, rap rap. This is a misprint. I, I, I get it, but this is a misprint. You know, it's supposed to say rap rap here. The other way that I've tried is with these patches. You know, and you put take this, put it on the area, and it's cold to the touch and the feel, but it usually just sort of just stays there and sticks there and tries to relieve any pain really that you have. But right about start of the pandemic 2020 and so there was these massage guns that really started to take uh flight and really started becoming popular and i've decided to get myself one and you know try it out so yeah so this is the one i'm unboxing today it's not necessarily uh the biggest and best but i think for me uh it will do so let's just see what's in the packaging remove this plastic here uh, uh, that's the peel. Um, does this slide out? Yes, I think this. I think this slides out. There you go. Mm -hmm. And behind this, you get a bit more technical. Oh, okay. Um. That's all the marketing on the front now. Um, and on the back as well, it says read instructions before use. Uh, uh, okay. We will definitely do that. Now in terms of opening it, it's real simple. You open it like that. And from the top, the first thing you get out is the bag. And I think this is, this should be able to carry pretty much everything in here. Um, the device as well as the heads. But yes. Then you get this manual. Um, the, the back of the thing says read the manual before use. But we'll, we'll, we'll read it. Yes, we will definitely read it. Then they've got this. I'm not sure if it's a... It's not a headband, not a wristband. I, yeah, maybe this is, pro I'll probably try to read the manual to figure out what this is because it's just a silicone ring. Looks like one of those stretch ball, what? Stress ball rings and whatnot. But I, I, I couldn't for the life of me tell you what that is. Ah, USB cable, USB-C cable rather. And this is very important, uh, I think with, most of devices moving towards USB-C, this makes uh, the whole charging thing a little bit better because now um, one cable, you don't have to carry 16 cables when traveling or going to places other than your home. And you can almost guarantee that you'll be always to be able to find one of these. The device itself looks like this. It's a little dirty, disappointing. It's small, portable, fits in one hand. Uh, it's about the size of a, I think, just about the height of a phone. So, yeah, it's not, it's not that much larger than a phone. Slightly wider, though. Um, but, yeah, it's, it, it's, you know, and this is ideal for, like, personal use. So then there's that, and you also get the six heads. Now in terms of attachments, you get six, 
Um, and ideally, they're all targeted at sort of like different areas of the body. You get a round head, you get a spade head, probably a, a U-shaped one. Um, you get a, a short taper, you get a flat head and a squishy, ah, squishy head, something like that. And these primarily are believed to be targeted at very different areas. I mean, so the device itself has this one button on top and from the looks of it, it's the only button on it. Um, yeah, can't, which makes it rather simple. The charging port is also on top, so the charging port is also on top, so that's uh, easy enough to reach. Um, let me take the ball tip because that's the easiest one uh, to test, you know. Uh, oh, let's see how does it switch on. Okay, so a long press would switch it on. And if you press it again, it increases speed and changes color. So each and every color is a different intensity. Last dot, which is the last color, is purple, seems to be variable intensity. And then when you press it again, it goes, it pauses, it doesn't really go off because the lights are still on. But if you long press again, uh, hmm. yeah, so if you long press again, then it goes off. So fairly simple, fairly intuitive. Um, surprised I got it first time around. So if you press it, like that when it's off but nothing really happens but let's see if i long press first mode oh yeah yeah that 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 hits the spot mm. and if i press it and yeah so for, mm, okay i mean Yeah, I, I, I could really get used to this. Yeah, and it feels... Yep. I'm definitely gonna... Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm definitely going to enjoy this. I can tell. Um, and yeah, so each of these heads, fundamentally by design, uh, apparently i need to say that apparently targeted at sort of like different areas um, of the body or different type of muscle groups um, and i'll sort of list them just rattling off here and ladies and gentlemen as with anything that claims health benefits for you please consult with your doctor particularly for something like this you know if you are on blood thinners if you're an arthritis patient uh, even if you're anemic, you know, consult with your doctor, make sure that using this is safe for you. And, you know, and generally when using it, you know, some basic etiquette uh, is to stick to the muscles, uh, muscular areas and avoid hitting the bones because that can really hurt you, could really hurt you. I'm not sure what the battery life is like, though. Um, granted, I did not charge this. I literally just took it out of... of of the packaging and plugged in the bag itself so you would switch it off like that um, put it in the bag um, pretty much throw all the heads in there whoop, 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 whoop. Mm. Um, your cable as well drawstring it like that uh, throw it into your travel bag you're on holiday, you go for a run on the beach, you come back, hit a little sore muscles, then you're good. I think that's, that's my idea of how um, I'll be using it. And this is why I sort of opted for this with the uh, minimal footprint. No bigger than a toiletry bag.